Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in here. This is a glue book that I just completed to list in my shop and by the time I upload this video I'll have it listed. I just took all the pictures to get it prepped. Um, it is a book that I cut the spine and sewed in three signatures of just fun blank paper. I'll just do a really quick flip through. It just has all kinds of different pages, music pages, calendar pages, book pages, just um, cardstock pages, all kinds of things that I gathered from my stash and just threw in here so that somebody could use them as the starters for their glue book pages. Like I said, there's three signatures. Look, here's an, even an envelope that I put in. You could like snip right here and make it a um, like a tuck spot if you wanted to. The pages are all different sizes, so you can do all kinds of cool things in here. Here's a cool owl from a calendar. Some coloring pages, if you just wanted to doodle on that, you could. I even took some of the pages and I extended them. Like this page, it stopped here. So I glued on another music page to make it longer so you'd have more fun space to work with in your glue book. I wanted to make sure that there was lots of different textures and sizes and colors in here. I just, I really had fun making it because I also made one for myself and I knew that someone out there is gonna want something like this because I'm really having a blast. It is all glue all the time here. I put one little envelope in case you wanted to hide like some secret in there. And that is the end. I glued on magazine pages to the front and the back. In the front here, this was already on there, um, a little writing on there from the person who owned it. So I didn't want to cover it up. So I just sort of left it. I thought that was cute. What you will also get is this pack of um, different papers and things like that to start using in your glue book. There's a couple of napkins here, some music pages. Uh, this was from a Better Homes and Gardens binder cookbook, some book pages from a little fairy tale book, coloring pages, map pages. Some things are flying all over the place here. And just some paper, some different scrapbooking paper, some magazine pages that I included in here that I thought might have some things that might interest some people. Or you can just use these for like the background to make your pages more sturdy. I think it's uh, Lori Marie Jenkins, her channel, where she does um, a lot of mixed media crafting and um, art and she calls it underpants where she puts it on the back of the pages and actually I don't think she calls it that anymore because I believe her channel got uh, dinged I guess for using that word too much absolutely ridiculous also I thought I'd show you um, I know I showed you this in my last video but I actually started working this in this this is my current glue book I have a few pages done and I'm doing this scavenger hunt. This is, um, if you look up Janet M. Young, her channel, she has a video. She did this last year, but I didn't, um, I didn't even know about her channel last year, so I didn't participate. Somebody just told me about it this weekend and um, hooked me up with the scavenger hunt um, instructions and stuff to do it for this year and it's due April 1st. So anyways, I'm knee deep in this. This is a blast. I'm having a ton of fun. Like for example, one of the pages was animals. So I did this and I made my glue book just like the one that is for sale in my shop. So that, um, because I like the way it's coming out for me. So I thought somebody else might like it. This page here, it was the uh, saying from inside of a fortune cookie, some receipts, and um, business cards. Then let's see, let me go I'll flip back here real quick. On this page, 
I made it the cover of my signature and there was um, postage stamps requirement. So I put them on here, a food page. So that's on here. And then I know way in the back, I skip around. I never do anything from front to back. This page here, I just did for myself. Not every page is gonna be about the scavenger hunt, just some of the pages. And I originally thought maybe I would do a separate book for the scavenger hunt, but honestly, I was thinking it might just stress me out entirely too much to have yet another journal going. So I just said, I have this glue book, I'm having fun working in it, and I'm gonna incorporate the scavenger hunt right into it. So that made me happy and that's what I'm doing. Here is the unicorns. I made this page, this little flap right here. And that's it for the current progress on my glue book. Um, I will probably do some more videos on this as I go farther into it and maybe get a few more of the things on the scavenger hunt completed. So anyways, I hope everybody has a great rest of the week. And if you like this video and want to see more, feel free to give it a thumbs up and comment. Thank you, everyone. Take care.